Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm starting this one from the streets of New York City. I don't know what that I don't know what that was. We just went to the Museum of Modern Art and I'm gonna enter some clips in here. I didn't want to use my camera because you know I didn't want to bring like too much attention so I recorded that with my phone and now oh I'm so out of breath and now we're looking for somewhere to eat I was huh what do you want to eat hmm? what do you want to eat food <laughs> I'm so hungry I know all right let's see what we can find you know you're in my video, right? Why are you so cute? Look, we're matching. Oh. <laughs> so bad. The calamari here is really That's good, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the last time I picked up the camera yesterday I just did nothing all day 
Um, I didn't really explain, but when we were in the city, I was actually hanging out with some family members that came to visit, um, but they didn't want to be on camera, so I respect that. And I didn't think it was enough footage for a full vlog, so I'm going to continue today. And the reason I'm wearing this Santa Claus hat is because I'm about to bake Christmas cookies. It's 4.54. I don't know if you can see that. And let me show you outside so you can understand why I need to like cheer myself up right now. Yeah, so this is the outside right now. Super dark and gloomy. And it's been like that all day. There's no sunlight. It's cold. And it's depressing. So let's bake some cookies. I have all the ingredients out right now. So we're just going to use butter, one egg, sugar, baking powder, vanilla, a pinch of salt and of course some flour last time we went to target i found this vanilla frosting and it has the christmas sprinkles on top but i didn't know if these sprinkles were going to be enough so i just i'm so extra sometimes so i just got this whole thing of christmas sprinkles and i also got these christmas cookie cutters also this time i have a mixer and i'm so happy about it because um if you've seen other videos when i'm making like cheesecake or whatever i didn't like i had to do it by hand so i think this is going to make the process much easier so this recipe i've been using since i was a teenager and i actually used to sell these cookies to like my family members and stuff entrepreneur and i'm making this these cookies from scratch i know a lot of people like to buy the pre-made batter or whatever and just bake them but i'm putting all the effort okay i'm actually making these from scratch one cup put that in there that's two cups of flour and that's one third so what i do is that i put all the dry ingredients first three fourths of a cup of sugar one and a half teaspoon of baking powder one and a half one fourth teaspoon of salt put it in there i'm gonna mix the dry ingredients for a little bit it would be a great idea if i plug this in you know what i i only use this mixer like once so i'm a little unfamiliar with it that scared me <laughs> three fourths of a cup of butter which i think three fourths is like is it two sticks or a stick and a half? To me, it's like a stick and a half, but whatever, I'm gonna measure it anyways. Oh my god. What? Nothing. I did it too fast and it sprayed everywhere. One egg. And finally, three-fourths of a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, guys. So this is the update. <laughs> My batter is like all stuck in there and it's super dry. I can't remember because it's been so long since I baked these, these cookies. But I think it might need an extra egg because... I put a little more butter in it. You know, I said a stick and a half. I actually put the other half in there. So there's two stick of butter. But I might put another egg in there because the batter is really dry. And that's not how I remember it. So I think I might just do it. To make it more tender, to get she, uh, Betty Crawford suggests and two to four tablespoons of softened butter or a quarter cup of sugar to the batter. Yeah, I added a half stick of butter. I think I used to put more than one egg. This is a lot of flour for just one egg. Sure. Whatever, I'm putting another egg in. Also, these eggs are small. Let's just hope this works. You're not supposed to put an egg directly in the batter in case the egg is not good, but apparently we're breaking all kinds of rules today. Okay, this batter looks good to me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wrap it and put it in the freezer for a bit um that's an important step that way you can handle it better and you know before you 
shape your cookies. And I wash my hands, by the way. Mm. <laughs> All right, I took the batter out of the freezer and it's pretty nice. And now we can handle it better. And I put some butter on these pans. I can the counter. What do you want? You gotta wait. You gotta wait. <laughs> you gotta wait. You got to taste the cookie. Be careful. These are really hot. These got out first, so you can have one. Christmas tree is a little deformed, so. How is it? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it before you ask. Mmm. <laughs> okay. That's really good. Success. Wait, the frosting is green? Oh, uh, yes, the container is green. I didn't know the frosting. It says vanilla, no? Vanilla frosting. Okay, I did not know the frosting was green, but it's okay. Let's go for the Christmas tree. You gotta show them. That's like a, a Christmas tree that was cut down. Mhm. Mm it's Christmas branch now. Sell these. <laughs> you need a bite? That's a big bite. That was a big bite. <laughs> you get another bite? Mm -mm. I want to eat a whole one. My heart. Mm. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you decided to make these cookies. And, um,. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!